بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو یور چینل دی اناٹمی کین سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی سیل ڈویژن ان دا سائیکل اینڈ دس از جسٹ اے ریویژن کلاس فرام یور پوائنٹ آف ویو یو ہیو اسٹڈیز آل آف دا ایونٹس ڈیورنگ پریویس کلاسز اینڈ دین وی ول پروسیڈ ٹو دا نیکسٹ کلاس سو آبجیکٹوز آف دی ٹو ڈیز کلاس آر ٹو دی ایکسپلین دی پروسیس آف دا سیل ڈویژن دی مائٹاسز explain the process of the meiosis and describe the karyotyping so a little bit uh, revision from your previous knowledge about the cell you all know very well that the cell consists of the uh, cyt- uh, cytoplasm it is covered by the cell membrane and it consists of the nucleus and nucleolus nucleus covered by the nuclear membrane surrounding the nucleus is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and this rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with the ribosomes it is also having the large number of the mitochondria also the microtubules are present the smooth endoplasmic reticulum the pair of the centrioles present as well and the golgi complex so this is little bit revision from your previous knowledge about the cell and its cellular organelles so what is the cell cycle cell cycle or cell division cycle is a series of events that takes place in a cell leading to its division and duplication or replication so in this diagram you can see that there is a first there is a g1 phase then there is s phase which is synthesis phase then g2 or growth two phase all these three phases collectively called the interphase after the g2 phase cells enter into the mitosis and uh, the different phases of the mitosis are here and uh, when the mitosis is complete cytokinesis occur and cell divides into two ha- diploid number of the cells so here are the some uh, definitions uh, the somatic cell also called the all the body cells are the somatic cells they are produced through mitosis and having 46 chromosomes are uh, 23 pairs of the chromosome so what is a homologue each member of the chromosome pair is called a homologue what is diploid or uh, two and means total of the 46 chromosome the zygote and all the somatic cells having 46 number of the chromosome haploid mean half the number of the chromosome that is total of 23 the gametes both the sperm and the eggs having the haploid number of the chromosomes so chromosomes exist in homologous pair in diploid cell you can see this is the pair exception to this is the sex chromosome uh, in males which is x and y other chromosomes are known as the autosomes autosomes they are the homologous chromosomes So homologous chromosomes a pair of the chromosomes both maternal and paternal are similar in shape and size homologous pairs tetrads carry genes the controlling the same inherited traits so what is locus locus is a position of the gene it is in the same position on both homologous chromosome humans females having 23 pairs of the homo- homologous chromosome because here the sex chrome also consists of two x chromosomes mm, and that is the one pair of sex chromosome and 22 pairs of the autosomes so there are five phases of the cell division these are first is the growth or the primary phase second is the synthesis phase in which dna is replicated third is the growth phase g2 phase collectively these three stages are called the interphase and last is the mitosis phase after which the cytokinesis occurs interphase or g1 phase is the first growth phase after the cell division the cells mature by making more cytoplasm and organelles the cell carries on its normal metabolic activities next is the synthesis phase in th- synthesis phase the dna is copied or replica- replicated so this is original dna and it now consists of the two uh, same co- two copies of its original dna so in synthesis phase you can see the interphase the uh, synthesis phase the copies are formed from the dna this is original and these are two identical copies of the dna 
In second growth phase or G2 phase, it occurs after the DNA has been copied. So all the cell structures needed for the cell divisions are made that is centriole etc. Both the organelles and proteins are synthesized in this phase. So this is a detailed diagram. You can see this is the G. Uh, sorry, this is the G1 phase after the cell division, in which cell matures itself and it forms more of its cytoplasm and organelles. Then the interphase, uh, the synthesis phase, or the S phase of the interphase stage, in which DNA is replicated. Then growth phase two, in which cell div um, prepare for the division, and then the mitosis occurs, during which you can see the prophase. Prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and after which the cytokinesis occur and two daughter cells are formed. So in prophase, these are different stages. Again, a revision from your previous knowledge that the prophase uh, strands of chromatin shorten, thicken, and resolve themselves. In prometaphase, the nuclear membrane disappears and microtubules extends into the central region. In metaphase, the chromosome align themselves on the equatorial plate, or to also called the metaphyseal plate. In anaphase, each chromosome split lengthwise into the new chromosomes, and in telophase, the chromosome uncoil, un lengthen, and nuclear membrane reforms again after which the cytokinesis occur. So this is the review of the mitosis. In this, you can see since uh, first uh, the two centrioles which are dividing and moving to the opposite side and then different stages are forming. So you can appreciate through this a uh, little bit. So uh, again revision G2 of the interface in which chromosomes are replicated and they starts to move on to the opposite pole in the prophase. Also the nuclear membrane starts to disappear. The uh, chromosomes now uh, become shortened and thicken in this phase and prometaphase they starts to come to the metaphyseal plate and they are attached to the microtubules. In metaphase the chromosomes align themselves on the metaphyseal plate and in anaphase uh, they split lengthwise and move to the opposite pole and in the telophase again uh, they lengthen and they disappear and their nuclear membrane reforms and after which the cytokinesis occurs. So what is the uncontrolled mitosis? So if the mitosis is uncontrolled, unlimited cell divisions occurs causing the cancerous cells. So in this you can see large number of the cells which are very in shape from one another having larger cyto nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio and these are the cancerous cells. So what are the oncogenes? Oncogenes are the special proteins that increases the chances that a normal cell develops into or tumor cells. So next is the meiosis. Meiosis happens in the germ cells. It produces the haploid uh, chromosomes. It can be divided into two phases, the meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So these are the phases in meiosis 1. You can see the homologous pair of the chromosome in diploid parent. The homologous pair uh, chromosomes pair up. They form the tetrads. Then they separate. And after the separation, meiosis 2 starts. And then diploid, haploid number of the chromosome uh, cells are formed. So this is meiosis 1 in which you can see first the centriole dividing into two and moving to the opposite cells. Also the homologous chromosomes pair and exchange the gametes forming the chiasmata. And in this metaphase you can see the uh, tetrads are now arranging themselves and equatorial plates. And the pair of the homologous chromosomes now separates in anaphase to the opposite pole. So what is chiasma? That is the sites of the crossing over occur in synapses. Exchange of genetic material between non-sister chromatids. You can see in this diagram that it is the exchange of material between non-sister chromatids. The crossing occurs recombinant chromosomes. 
Mm, so in meiosis 2 you can see the in the there is no dna replication in meiosis 2 this is very important point to uh, keep in mind uh, after the cleavage and the telophase 2 meiosis 2 uh, starts immediately and in prophase 1 again all the same feature things occur is just resemble the mitosis the only difference is that there is no dna replication and then the metaphase the anaphase and the telophase and haploid chromosomes divides into two cells with haploid number of the chromosome cell divides into two cells with haploid number of the chromosomes so different phases in prophase of one each chromosome duplicates and remains closely attached attached associated these are called the sister chromatids important feature is the crossing over which occur during this phase metaphase one homologous chromosomes align at equatorial plate in anaphase one homologous pairs separates with sister chromatids remaining together and in telophase the two daughter cells are formed with each daughter containing only one chromosome of the homologous pair so you can appreciate the number of the chromosome is haploid but the amount of the dna is same as the dna is replicated before the first meiotic division but in meiosis 2 in prophase 2 there is no dna replication the chromosomes align at equatorial plate in metaphase they divide and separate and telophase after the completion of the telophase four haploid daughter cells are formed with the half the number of the uh, chromosome and half the amount of the dna so this is the meiosis versus mitosis in this mitosis you can see the two and two daughter cells are formed with diploid number of chromosome and in meiosis you can see four cells are formed with the haploid number of the chromosomes also the uh, as the crossing over occur in uh, meiosis one you can see the chromosomal uh, re because of the recombination now daughter cells are different from both of their parents so results of the meiosis are that the the genetic variability the mitosis produces daughter cells identical to parent while meiosis results in genetic variation by shuffling of the maternal and paternal chromosomes and the crossing over so no daughter cell formed during meiosis are genetically identical to either the mother or the father during sexual reproduction fusion of the unique haploid Uh, gametes produces truly unique offspring so this is the important feature of the meiosis meiosis and sexual life cycle life cycle sequence of the stages organism reproduce uh, reproductive history conception to reproduction and somatic cells and any cell other than the gametes most of the cells in the body are somatic cells gametes are produced by the mitosis me sorry meiosis So next is the karyotyping what is karyotyping it is an organized profile of an individual chromosome it is a technique that is used to examine the chromosome in a sample of the cells which can help to identify the genetic problem as the cause of disorder or disease so purpose of the karyotype is to locate or visualize the change in number of the chromosome or abnormality in its structure basically karyotype divide on three pattern that is on the basis of the size of the chromatid on the basis of the bending pattern and on the basis of the centromeric position so different stages of the karyotyping the first step is the sample collection So first step is performed a karyotype is collecting the sample sample can be collected from the amniotic fluid through the amniocentesis or the piece of the placenta collected during chorionic villus sampling or as simply the 5 ml of the fetal venous blood so from these three sources we can take the fetal uh, tissue for the uh, karyotyping Next stage is to separate the cells. In order to analyze the chromosome, the sample must contain cells that are actively dividing. It, this is very important. So, in blood, the white blood cells are actively dividing cells. Once the sample reaches the cytogenetic lab, the non-dividing cells are separated from the dividing cell using special chemicals. So, in this case, RBCs are separated, and the white blood cells are connected. Uh, collected uh, because mature rbcs do not have the nucleus so they cannot be used for the karyotyping 
the third step is the synchronizing the cells so in order to see chromosomes clearly under a microscope the chromosomes have to be their most compact form these compact forms occur at the specific stages of the mitosis called the metaphase this is very important mcq you must know that chromosomal all the chromosomal studies all the karyotypic studies are done at metaphase so in order to get all the cell to this specific stage of the cell division cells are treated with a chemical called colchicine which stops the cell division at metaphase this is again your very important mcq especially those who are preparing for the first examination they must know that first we study the chromosome for the karyotyping at metaphase and secondly the colchicine is used to arrest the cell division at the metaphase so these two are very important mcqs the next step is releasing the chromosome from the cells so in order to see these compact chromosomes under microscope the chromosomes have to be out of their white blood cells moreover this is done by treating the wbcs with a special solution which causes swelling and lysing of the lymphocyte consequently this provides a better spreading of the chromosome after the chromosomes are spread then the chromosomes are the colorless so in order to be able to differentiate one from the other a special dye is used this is the gms here dye to see the chromosome at uh, in different stages so here the uh, all the process of the karyotyping is completed this gms here dye is again your very important mcq so what are the results of the karyotyping through karyotyping analysis we will obtain the following information about the cell line that is the species identification index of the genome stability validation of the normal diploid karyotype numerical chromosomal abnormalities monoploidies polyploidies monosomies trisomies the structural abnormalities including the deletion duplication translocation inversions etc so these are the results of the karyotype and here we complete our two days class inshallah in the next class we will move on to the abno chromosomal abnormalities we uh, i thank you all for your attention for the two days class thank you so much and allah hafiz